first of all, remember, course fees, when we're talking about a fee on a registration, I didn't change that when I was doing the example. They're set on the main screen. <clears throat> so you would go to the course side and set up the, uh, the fees. Uh, the other thing is that you must pick, you, you, you have a choice of fees when you're staff and you're entering registrations. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run the live on that real quick. Uh, we'll OK save that. I've already now made the payment. Everything's paid off. This is what we're talking about, that if you have fees set up in the course, the drop down will allow you to choose the alternate fees that are set up for this particular class. All right, back to the idea of assigning fees. One of the other options that you've got in Manager is that you can set a fee preference. And that is on the name screen. And if everything's showing, you ought to see the name screen now. Down there is an option called Use Fee Category. If you pick a fee descriptor on the name screen, staff fee, alumni fee, a senior citizen fee, <coughs> and you have created a fee description like that on the class, you can automatically have, when you enroll Chuck in this class, he will get assigned whatever is the fee category that's in his name record. And so again, that is one of the options that uh, you can do for uh, special populations in your group. All right. Adjustments to fees. Um, uh, guys, I've been in continuing ed for a long time. And uh, I, it's, there's nothing final, generally, about fees when you're a continuing educator, because you're always looking for a way to add that other registration. How can we, get, how can we close the deal? How can we get this person to enroll? And so you know, uh, Bill comes in and says, you know, I'd love to go to this course, but I have to leave on the last day because my daughter's wedding that weekend. And, oh, I don't want to pay the full price because it's only be a yeah, wine, wine, wine. How can I get a break? So that allows you, through the fee adjustment description, to be able to make an adjustment in the amount of the fee. Now, a uh, couple of things about that. One of the new things about fee adjustment is that you can add a quantity. Uh, and again, in even adding a registration fee from the uh, course screen, you can add the quantity. Turning on that quantity is an option. It's now a optional preference that you can set via preferences. <clears throat> and where that is, under preferences now, registration preferences, it's right over here. It's kind of tucked in next to the package fee. Use other fee quantity. I don't know if Matthew's listening, but I want to get him to push a little space there so it doesn't look like that's all connected. But the idea, this is where you turn on the issue of how many optional fee elements or entities that you want with uh, a registration uh, with an optional fee. And again, if you really don't have a case where you've got uh, like parking, uh, if you're mainly using it for parking permit and you don't buy multiple parking permits, uh, you can turn it off and just not have that uh, show on your on your registration screen. Lori, that think that covers that. I think so. Think so. All right. So uh, adjustments to fees again, <clears throat> uh, they can be a negative or a positive, and then again, one-time adjustment reason. Uh, in the past, we've always had a validated option for the fee adjustment. And again, you can't turn off validation completely. But let's go look up a registration now. I'm going to get out of this group and go to Singleton here. Add edit Reggie's, and we're going to go find Bill Clinton. OK, Bill is in a standard, uh, standard class. So, uh, normally, if I wanted to adjust his fee, he builds the one complaining about that fee. He has to be gone. Can he adjust the fee? So if you click on coupon adjustment, and you say additional charge, cancellation, uh, credit, coupon adjustment, scholarship credit, eh, I don't really see one for a whiny attendee uh, or uh, you know, conflict, partial adjustment. So. 
you'll note now that if I hover over this fee, it says to toggle between validated and open entry, press Alt plus the number 4. So if I'm in the field, hold the Alt key down and press the number 4, voila, that fee adjustment is now open entry. I can type whatever I want to do. You are a whiny student. Adjustment. Adjustment. I have to edit that. And I didn't put in the dollar amount. Uh, let's try. You are a whiny. And so I got to get over. I tabbed out of that without putting in a dollar amount. And you'll note it, it didn't put it up there. So I'm going to put in minus 50 bucks. So that drops in the you are a whiny student, uh, the date, and the amount. Um, Obviously, you might want to be a bit more discreet as to what you name that. But the point is, it allows you the freedom to put in an item on the line. Okay.